Cells can be simple, but cells can also be very complex. In this case, we'll place an entire exit ramp along geometry that's been referenced into our design file. We'll locate our civil cell from the directory. In this case, we have a highway extension with the transition and gore area along with a off ramp. We'll follow the prompts, locating the edge of pavement, the ramp alignment, and then a two-dimensional element. Notice I have a couple choices. I've drawn a taper and also an extension. We'll grab the extension. After about eight seconds, the ramp shadows my cells position correctly so I'll reset and accept the placement. In the 3D view we'll get immediate feedback from the civil cell. With the civil cell in place all we need to do now is extend it down to the bottom of our ramp geometry. We'll zoom in to the end of the alignment and select it. We'll zoom back out. We'll grab the end station manipulator and we'll drag it down along our alignment. We'll allow it to snap to the end. In the 3D view, we'll get immediate visual feedback on our construction. That was pretty easy. Let's do that again. So again, we'll go to place the cell. This time we'll grab the northbound lane, highway edge of pavement. We'll grab our ramp geometry in 2D. And again, we'll grab the transition element. Again, after about eight seconds, our, our ramp places will reset and accept it. The cell's been constructed to handle various direction of elements. So in this case we have elements that were created both north to south, south to north, and so forth. And the cell still handles these with relative ease. Before we extend the highway ramp up to the top of the intersection, let's place the intersection cell. So this time we'll place another cell. This, this cell's been developed with an island in place. We'll select the ramp center line, then the through road edge of pavement. And after a few seconds, the ramp shadows, or the intersection's shadows, will reset and will accept. In our 3D view, we now can see that intersection. Now we'll drag the ramp up to the top. Again, we'll zoom out. and we'll grab the end station manipulator dragging it forward and we'll allow it to snap to the back of our intersection cell. So here we are four and a half minutes into it and we already have constructed two off ramps and an intersection now we haven't applied super elevation, but we'll look at that next.